One more time, another relationship question. And this time around, I have cycles. I have a beautiful chair. I know how fond you are of chairs. But when you do in a chair, the first thing that you have to check is that they're connected the same. So each chair has a BR, a bromide. Each chair has a methyl. Then you actually see what's the distance between the methyl and the bromide atom. One, two, three. One, two, three. So these two molecules are the one bromo three methyl cyclohexane. That's perfectly fine. One more thing we need to check. Going up and up, my two substituents are on the same side of the ring. They're going both up. So this is the cis. On this one, the methyl is going up, but the halide is going down. And if one is up and the other one is down, that means that they are trans to each other. That's it. I don't need to compare anything else. Cis and trans are diastereomers. This one's right here. Let's quickly compare the double bond inside the ring because you see that double bond could be on either side and this time around it's going to the towards the carbon that's in between the OH and the CH2 right here so it's going to the side of the ring that has only one carbon so in between the OH and the CH2 going towards that way now we need the chiral center so really quickly go ahead and assign priorities this one on the left has the hydrogen in the back so I have oxygen, carbon, carbon, oxygen gets one. Double bonded carbon versus single bonded carbon, double bond gets two. Single, single bonded carbon gets three. And I'm done. Number four is in the back. So one, two, three, one, two, three. I'm going counterclockwise. And that is S. The molecule that's on the right side, first of all, the OH is in the back. That means that the hydrogen is in the front. And if it's in the front, it's the opposite of what my pen is going to be doing. So my pen is going R, but the hydrogen is in the front. So it's the opposite of R. And what's the opposite of R? S. So the molecule on the left is connected exactly the same as the molecule on the right and the chiral center is exactly the same. It's both of them are S. So these two molecules are identical. What happened right here, if you take a spatula and you pretend that the molecule is like a pancake and you flip it like a pancake, you can actually flip this molecule to be this one on the right side.